So you guys know I usually do these full faces like uh, I wear it like a week to work. Well I'm in the midst of recording the Too Faced video which you'll probably see before this and it is driving me insane. <laughs> so I need to take a break and we're going to start a different one. Today we're going to start Pacifica. This just happens to be their eyeshadow palette but Pacifica is a 100% vegan cruelty free brand. Let me look them up a little bit more. If I look a little shiny, I did just moisturize, so. Well, they don't have an about me section or whatever on their website, but I do know they're 100% vegan, they're cruelty free, they're, you know, backed by the bunny. All that good jazz. Anyway, moving on. That was a waste of like two minutes of me looking through my phone. Um, here's my busted face. <laughs> My dark circles are insanity lately, and I am not living for it. Alright, let's start with the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation Oil-Free Anti-Shine and Satin Finish. You get 0.9 fluid ounces. Again, I don't watch reviews before I do this, so I don't know if this goes on best with a beauty blender or what. So, I've got two pumps on the back of my hand. I got the color Warm Light 37WL. I'm the worst at picking foundation colors. Because this is very, very light. I've really been liking using my fingers for foundation lately. I feel like it really gets in there. Yeah, this is definitely too light for me at the moment. Um, like I've discussed in the last couple of videos, I'm tanner than I normally am. Um, I've been going outside and doing activities <laughs> so this color's a little off for me at the moment but this could be really good for winter so I'm just gonna even it out with the beauty blender I've got that blended into my skin fairly well you can tell it's lighter than my chest that's just how it be sometimes Alright, so I, th I thought that went on fairly well, but we'll see how it wears. There's nothing much else we can talk about right now about it. <laughs> Next we have the Pacifica Natural Minerals Liquid Cover Full Coverage Lasting Concealer. I got this one in 18WL, which I'm assuming is warm light. The packaging is really, really pretty. I like these tops. It seems consistently there's flowers and these like crystal type things in their packaging. No primer on today. So we'll see if this works best with a primer or not. Problem is I don't know if I have any vegan cruelty free primers. I'll have to do some research. I might have to go get one at Ulta. I've got a couple of returns to do for Ulta, so it's not that big a deal. There we go. There was a cat hair in my eye. All you cat moms are like, yeah, par for the course. This beauty blender I hate using for my under eyes, so I don't know why I chose to use this one today. The point on it, on the very end, is not good to get under your eyes. Like, I get, you know, concealer or whatever on my eyelid every freaking time. Every time. I'm not mad at that coverage of that concealer, though. I think I might do one more coat, just because I can still see some darkness here. I think I'm gonna do one more coat 
it'll either make it way worse or it'll make it better. I'm just gonna do some small dots. I do like to squeeze it down so that it's a little bit smaller, but yeah, I think that looks really nice. It's like the first one in like a couple weeks that I've been like, oh, I kind of like that coverage. All right, this is the Pacifica Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my god, they're made in Portland, Oregon. I had no freaking clue. When I was looking it up, it said there was a warehouse here, but I didn't know they were manufactured here. Oh, that makes me like this even more. <laughs> Again, look at this beautiful packaging. Thank you, camera. Good job. We're finding a balance. We're finding a balance. All right, so it's got a protector on it. Oh, yes. This is a lot like the Tarte one that has, like, the mesh over the top. I don't know if you guys can see the mesh. Wow. Is this how today's going to be? Is this how today's gonna be? <laughs> it's Friday. I want it to be a good day. All right, so we're gonna dip in here. Whoa! <laughs> it's a very light, translucent powder. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna get the beauty blender. Dry beauty blender. This one is from Juno and Co. for under my eyes, that's that's how I like to do. I just feel like it's flat, I can get in there, and I'm good. Okay, now we can do regular powder over the rest of the face. Or a regular brush, I mean. Oh, it does smell like cherries too. That's a nice pleasant smell. A lot of companies use like vanilla or cupcake or chocolate. This is pleasant. I like it. It's not like an overpoweringly cherry smell. Okay, and when that set my under eyes, it didn't super Sahara Desert them, which is great. Because that's my biggest complaint usually. It's a little, a little dry looking, but I think once the powder settles a little bit, I've been noticing that like at first impression things can look bad, but then they like melt into my face, they warm up to my body temperature, and then they look a little bit better. Okay, so they do not have brow products. So I'm gonna go in just with my. Ulta Ultra Slim Brow, and I'm gonna do my brows real quick. Obviously, I'm going for subtle mismatch brows today. Praise be. Sorry, I've been watching Handmaids too. Um, what do we wanna do next? Let's do the eyeshadow just in case. I don't know, it like, fall out or something, I don't know. My allergies are insane right now, and I asked for some advice um, from some of my friends, and they told me to start Flonase, so I started doing Flonase for a couple days, and then I noticed that my feet and my ankles were swelling every evening after I took the Flonase. Like, I, I started the Flonase at like 3 o'clock because I went and got it on my lunch one day, and so I've been taking it at 3 o'clock every day. And by the time I left work, 5 o'clock, my feet were just so swollen. And just my feet and my ankles. And I was like, okay, well, I know it's warm. You know, maybe, maybe something. So I didn't do it yesterday. I didn't do the Flonase yesterday. And my feet weren't as swollen. So we'll see today. I'm not going to do the Flonase. We'll see today if that's an issue for me. 
All right, this is the Pacifica Love Stoned eyeshadow palette. Natural Mineral Palette is what they're calling it. So there's the colors. And then over here, each color represents a different stone. And my birthstone is emerald because I'm born in May. And so it, it goes through and it says emerald attributes, open-hearted and well-being, chakra of the heart, celestial goes with Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. The elements are water and earth. Uses, it attracts goodness, generosity, and mental clarity. So that's really cool. So my problem might be, is this a cohesive palette? Can I make some cohesive looks out of this? I love that they're focusing on the natural stones. So let's see if we can put together some gorgeous eyeshadow looks. Let's see, there's 12 in here. Should we do some swatchy swatchies? What time is it? Do I have time for swatchies? It is only 7. I got time for swatches. Now, please don't punch me in the face for my pronunciations of these. I'm going to do my best to, you know, some of these I've, I've never seen the words before. Ooh, girl. Yes. Some of these are really, really nice. Well, so far they're all nice. So here's the swatches. If we start down here, we've got Garnet, Aquamarine, Emerald, and Lapis, Lapis. And then we've got Pink Sapphire, Amethyst, Black Tor Tourmaline, Tiger's Eye, Rose Quartz, Moonstone, Opal and Citrine. Those weren't super in focus, but they're beautiful. They're they swatched really nicely. Ooh, and they washed off super great. They washed off really easy. No staining on my hand, which is amazing. I love it. Whoops. So I, it's not that I'm not inspired, but I'm trying to figure out a look that I can put together right now. Love Stone. This is such a cool palette. Cool name and stuff. Alright, um... there's it seems like there's a matte and a shimmer to match every color there's like a purple that goes with the pink there's not really a matte blue I don't know when you guys look at this what do you see why am I not inspired I should be inspired this is a beautiful palette I think I'm just going to go in with Amethyst and Pink Sapphire and create like a purpley pink girly look. Um, I feel like being girly today. I had a full beautiful face on yesterday and I wore jeans and a t-shirt though. It, it'd be like that. I think I've said it'd be like that like four times in this video. Smack me. Kick me in the face. Ooh, if you kick me in the face, maybe I'll get a cute bruise that looks like a cool makeup look. <laughs> so I've got amethyst above my orbital bone. Um, it's really pretty. I did feel like I had to dip back in three or four times just to get enough color on there. 
I'm gonna go in with pink sapphire on the lid with this large flat brush. But I kind of just got an idea for something else. Oh, you're fine. You were in here for the longest time. They just went to the vet yesterday, so... They were kind of mad at me yesterday. I've got about three weeks and then they go in and get spayed, so... They're really going to hate me then. So that's a nice pink purple look right there, but I think, this is probably crazy, I think I'm going to go in with this lapis, lapis, does it say how to say it, it does not, but I'm going to go in and just get some on the brush, just a little bit, because this might be crazy, hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but you're real pretty, so go on me maybe. I'm gonna put this in the corner. What am I doing? It's like I forgot how to open an eye to put on makeup. So for once in my life, I actually have a light hand and it's actually working. I think that just created a little bit of dimension out there. And that's what I was going for. I like that. Yeah. Now I'm going to take a super small round brush. And I'm going to go in with Aquamarine for my inner corner. This is a nice like tealish shimmer. Okay. My eye's gonna look jacked up, but there was, whoops, there was a little hair on my contact. So now my eye's watering and, you know, we're gonna come back to my eyes. We're gonna do the rest of my face real quick because I want to finish up my eyes, but. It's having an issue at the moment. <laughs> All right, so that is eyes, that is eyes. Uh, so for my face, I got this Alighten Radiance Powders, and it looks like it's got, oh, come on, miss. Okay, so it's got a rose gold shimmer, a glimmer shimmer, a desert matte, and a sunset matte. That's the colors, I guess. Okay, mm, there we go. It's, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, every true beauty knows it's what's on the inside that matters. Please remove pans and recycle this palette. Oh my God, their stuff is recyclable. That's amazing. That's amazing. Someone's got to look out for this planet. All right. Desert matte. I'm going to use this bronzer. It might be a little dark for me. Might be able to go in kind of lightly. Oops. There's not a huge amount of pigment with this, which is great. Because it's just enough to kind of darken up certain parts of my face. And then let's go in with I'm gonna go into sunset down here it's a matte blush See, the, the blush is really really good but that bronzer was not my favorite not today anyway we can play with it another day. Or we will play with it another day. 
I feel like I effed up my eye so bad. It's not terrible though. Even the coverage on the dark circles is still okay. Alright, and finally for highlight, I think I'm going to go into the rose gold one. Kind of blend it in with that blush. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It looks so pretty. Okay, let's go back to the eyeshadow. This gave my, my eyes a little time to calm down. So let's aquamarine it in the middle here. It's a really pretty inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and do some brow bone highlight. I'm gonna use Moonstone. Boom. All right. Let's use the liner. This is I Love Liquid Charcoal Eyeliner Rich Black Color Fine Tip Liner. I got this in black. And it's it's a felt tip. Meet your new love with this charcoal-based liquid liner, rock a dramatic wing, or just make your eyes pop. Lightly pull across lash line as close to lash roots as possible. Extend past eye for wing tip. All right. Ooh, it's really a fine tip. Like probably one of the finest tips I've ever used. Look at that teeny tiny wing it put on. It's so fine. Look at the little lines I can draw. Okay. I drew in um, a little bit. I like that it's small but I also dislike it because I usually use the marker I press it down to make my wing to like help me get the shape and this is too small for that this is too fine for that but it draws a really massively fine line so I guess that's down to personal preference on like how you like your eyeliner to look if you like a super fine line and you barely want it to be seen this is perfect I'm gonna line my bottom lash line this really beautiful look going and I could really screw it up down here <laughs> I think I'm gonna take lapis the, that blue color blue color and put that down there Whew. I needed this. <laughs> I needed a look to go well. Because I just was not into the three looks that I've done so far for Too Faced. Um, I used this BH Cosmetics 106 Super Fine Small Brush to do the bottom lash line. And I think it did a really, really, really good job. I'm excited to use this more. Um, it's really beautiful. I just, again, I'm not sure it's a standalone palette for me, but this look turned out really nice, so we'll see what else we can come up with. 
You guys know I like to keep it to just this palette or just this, the brand. All right, the last, one of the last things we've got, we've got lips and then this. Uh, this is the Pacifica Black Crystal Supercharged Extending Mascara. Oh, their packaging is so pretty. So pretty! Oh, I love it. I wonder if it changes or if, like, this is what it is all the time. Wipe that black eyeliner off. Came off very easily. The makeup wipe I'm using is... Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towel Night Calming. This is the best. It makes my skin feel great. It leaves me a little bit moisturized. And it takes the stuff off without pulling on my skin. Alright. Standard mascara brush. I was like fawning over this girl at the coffee stand's eyelashes the other day and I was like oh my gosh what mascara is that because that makes your lashes look so long and gorgeous she's like oh uh, uh I don't know what it's called it's in my purse and she went and got it out of her purse to show it to me and it was a L'Oreal and it was oh my god now I can't remember the name of it I wrote it down in my phone or something um but it's like a yellow container and she just was like yes it's great all right, so the very last thing we've got is the Pacifica. Why do I always say the brand name? Like, I'm such a dork. It is the Natural Color Quench Lip Tint in Sugared Fig. They don't have, like, lipsticks. They have a lot of, like, lip balms and things like that. So... Here's what this looks like. Super pretty. So it goes on, feels like a lip balm. It's got some shimmer in it. But it's it's feels really nice. Feels nice and nourishing and you know, moisturizing. Okay, so let's come in for a closer look. As I'm looking at the foundation and how it's sitting on my face. There's certain areas that are problems right here. Um, I've had this on for like half an hour and it's definitely like going in my cracks. That was not the right choice of words. Um, it's, it's going into my fine lines and into my pores and kind of accentuating them. Um, from afar it's fine but when we're up this close you can definitely see especially like right there in my hairline you see that maybe I just didn't like maybe I'm dry up there we'll give it the benefit of the doubt that maybe I'm dry so we need to use a really good primer for this like a really nice moisturizing primer but I think the eyes turned out really nice I am getting some like flaking from the mascara could have been my application. So there, we'll clean that up a little bit. I love this look that I did. I think the purples and the pinks and that blue work super well together. And those shimmers are super nice. Uh, the face products are good. That highlight's nice. And the lips are really, they feel really nice. So I will keep you guys updated throughout the day. So this is just day one. We're going to do multiple looks. You know, you know how we do. It just be like that. <laughs> I should probably have done my hair. Hold on. This is how I'm choosing to wear my hair today. Just half up. Uh, so there's the look. My hair looks a little flat. That's okay. I don't know about you guys, but the second day after a shower, especially in summer, my hair is like, no, I don't want to do anything but ponytail. Nothing but a ponytail. Put us in a ponytail or we're going to look greasy and gross all day. So I, I usually end up putting my hair up anyway. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I work 
at a desk. I work in an office and so when I'm like writing things or having to have my head down all day, my hair in my face drives me insane. And then having it on the back of my neck sometimes drives me insane. I mean, I'm insane anyway, but like, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> so I always end up like pulling it back. Even if I'm just pulling it back into a ponytail at the base of my neck, that's what I do. So that's how we do. <laughs> so annoying today. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right guys, here is, let's see, it's five o'clock. I put this on at seven, so we're at 10 hours. Um, there is some transfer from the eyeshadow down onto my lower lid. That's to be expected because I put that blue on the bottom there. And I mean, there's still shadow there, but it's faded a lot. Um, I, I worried about that because if you guys remember the all natural Burt's Bees that I did, that faded very, very quickly too. Um, the eyeliner has faded. The mascara still looks nice. Um, my eyes haven't itched or anything today. Most of the face products are gone. Um, you can still see some bronzer and some blush on this side, which is nice. There's some of the highlight right there. I don't see any like separation of the foundation. And I think the concealer is holding up really, really nicely. And you know, I was I was nervous about those. I've been having really bad like experience with the Too Faced uh, concealer and foundation. So this is nice to have a decent coverage foundation and concealer. So yeah, and I like that powder. It smelled really nice and it mattified my face. You can, okay, there is some, let's see if I can get it to focus. You can see a little bit of like separation here but it's warm out today and I sweated a little bit earlier so not a big deal so far so good first day good day okay guys we're back for another day of Pacifica my plans today are to go shopping with my friends so I don't want to do foundation I don't think because I feel like I'll just sweat it off because it's hot and summer I'm gonna skip foundation and everything else I think I'm gonna use. Oops. I've got a lot going on here because I've got my laptop open here uploading a vlog which I finally finished and then I've got my makeup here and I just filmed for my hair. There's a lot going on. All right so I've already put on I wash my face in the shower. Um, should I put a moisturizer on? I feel like that's just going to make me extra oily today. But I did use the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. It's got like some mint or something in it because I can feel the, the tingly mint thing. But it's supposed to help with under eye wrinkles. So I used that on and off. I don't really see that it works. But today I thought I'd put it on and let it sit for like five or ten minutes. So I'm just going to do concealer. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. I'm going to do concealer. Start with a little. Work my way up if I need to. I like to use my concealer to prime my eyelid as well. Which, if you're new, you may not know that. But OGs know that. That may have done a little better. Okay, so let's try something actually. Someone messaged me and I can't for the life of me remember her name now. But she was a makeup artist and she told me that I could use a red or an orange eyeshadow under my eyes for a color corrector. So let's give that a try. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Back to Brazil palette. I'm going to use this orange right here. I'm gonna grab a fluffy but flat brush. <laughs> okay. All 
All right. Do it over here too. Now I've seen it done on the internet with lipstick, like red lipstick, but that is specifically works on dark skin tones. I'm, I'm just not a dark skin tone. I think that's awesome that it works. Because I've seen some magic happen. So let's see if this orange eyeshadow will work for me. I just want to wipe off any extra. Okay. Go back in. I think that actually worked it definitely dulled the darkness I mean obviously we also have two layers of concealer on with a layer of powder in between there we go my lighting's a little bit off since you guys are in a different position but there's shadow over here I think that worked really well. Mirror on my my mirror light doesn't work at all. That's awful. Okay. Um. So let's get down to the rest of the face, I guess. Do I want to set that? With, I should probably set that with powder. Again, very happy with this powder. I like it a lot. Come here, little little brush, little little powder brush. Hello. Okay, I think that's fairly good. I mean, you can still see some of the darkness, but like, I'm 38, it's gonna happen. I'm like keeping track on the time and I've got a couple errands to run before my friends get here. So I'm like, and then this has like, I don't know, 20 minutes left or 15. Alright, so I'm really having a hard time like finding out how to do a look in this. Not because it's a bad palette, I just I'm gonna start with rose quartz. I just think it might need a companion palette something that can help you out in the colors you're lacking but I don't do that on full face we only do the one palette or you're only allowed the one the one brand I should say they probably have another palette I'm gonna put tiger's eye which is right here on all over my eyelid a lot, this is a lot like the Burt's Bees that like, you have to put a lot on for it to show. I feel like I have to dip in quite a few times to get the color payoff that I want. But it seems to be buildable. I don't know, I feel like I'm digging into this one pretty hard. So here it is in the pan, right? It's this beautiful orange. Here it is on my eye. I just don't think it shows up as well. Um, I'm gonna pop on some eyebrows. Pop on some eyebrows. I'm gonna I'm gonna color in my brows. I just used the ColourPop Brow Boss, and I think I yeah I have Ash Brown. 
Okay, so I'm not sure with this palette how I can darken up this eye look. So I'm just going to go with it for today. I just used two colors. It looks nice. It's just a little, for me, it's a little plain. I think eyeliner kind of, kind of helped me out a little bit. It usually does. I know this is against my own set rules usually, but I'm going to take the ColourPop BFF Creme Gel Liner in Mr. Mr. Bing. It's this brown, and I'm going to line my bottom lash line with it just to give my eyes a little more dimension. Just to add a little something something that it needed. I'm going to skip the bronzer for today since I didn't do foundation. My skin has its own bronzer basically. But I'm going to go into this blush color down here, Sunset Matte, or Sunset, it's a matte blush. I kind of like to go a little heavy on my blush first thing in the morning because it's going to fade away. Yeah, great, good. Everything's fine. Um, I yesterday used the rose gold, so I'm going to use the Glimmer. Glimmer Shimmer. It's an okay highlight. This is not really my favorite um, face palette. This says it's extending mascara. I don't see it doing anything to, to lengthen or volume my lashes. So that's with mascara and without. You can definitely see my lashes better, but again, I don't feel like it like makes them look super extra long. But I've <sighs> blessed with long lashes already so sorry and then the color quench lip tint in sugared fig I'm actually gonna toss this in my purse for the day because I like how this felt on my lips and this color on me I think looks super nice All right, so there is a subtle day of Pacifica. Let me see if I can't improve the lighting. Oh no, no! I accidentally pushed the button. Okay, so here is a subtle day of Pacifica. I think the other eyes are looking okay. Um, how are my eyelids? Obviously, if they're close, I can't see, so. I don't know. I think I think it looks fine. I think it's a very subtle look for me. Um, yeah. I think we're good to go. So, I'm going to go shopping with my friends and probably check in with you guys later. All right, guys. Let's do another day of Pacifica. Are you guys even? Hold on. That seems a little more level. Cats are playing with something out in the hallway if you hear a noise. <laughs> Apparently just one of them, because one of them just popped up from underneath my desk. Alright. Hi, babe. This is probably going to be the last day of Pacifica. Um, I did wear it yesterday. I can insert a picture. Um, I thought it looked really nice. I focused. Yes. Um, I ended up just doing concealer, powder, my eyes, and then a little bit of the face products. Um, I used a different eyeliner, but I ended up using emerald above my crease, and then just this black tourmaline on my lid, and I thought it looked super nice. Perfect. Maybe I can just show you guys on my phone. So that's what the eye look looked like. 
the liner that I used underneath was hey guys stop it's by ColourPop and it's their BFF creme gel liner in DTLA and I, I just I love these how many of these do I have let, let, let me count the ways That all of y'all so I've got all these colors so far the only one that doesn't look like super good on me is this orange um, kind of makes me look a little like sickly maybe let me show you but it's not my best look See, I've got the orange on the bottom lash line there. Enough talk about ColourPop. Jeez. This is not a ColourPop video candy. Jeez. Uh, let's get going. Alright, it's going to be 77 with no humidity. So, or no, no chance of rain or anything. What's the humidity? 89%. Humidity. Amazing. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna moisturize. What, what time is it? I'm so scattered. I only have about 25 minutes to do my makeup, so let's just do primer instead of oil and primer. We're gonna use the No, no Pore Blem Prime Essence from Touch and Soul. Got this in boxy charm, I believe. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I ended up just wearing primer on my skin instead of like foundation and stuff. And I really liked the feel of it. I'm trying to remember which one I used. I think it was the Color FX one. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a cute noise. I'm able to block out the noise of the cats. So if you aren't, I'm really, really, really sorry. See, that kind of moisturizes and primes at the same time. Uh, yeah, yesterday I used the Cover FX Blurring Primer, which I also got in BoxyCharm. I may have purchased like one or two primers in my entire existence. And there goes my ice machine. It's this hot mess express over here, you know? Shit happens. I forgot to put ice in my cup yesterday before I left for work. So I had to, when I went to the coffee shop, had to have them fill it up for me so that I could have ice all day. <sighs> Why am I just sitting here? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, I've got a demon here that was rude yesterday uh one down here and i've got this weird one on my neck we're just covering what's going on with my face i've tried to get sort of a light coverage but this it's very thick and oh, it doesn't feel oh, oily, but it it feels like it's there. And I don't I don't necessarily like that. Plus we all know by now that I'm on summer skin and I bought these for my regular skin. I didn't know I was gonna go outside this much. <laughs> So there we are. Oy. I'm gonna give it a minute or so to kinda acclimate to my skin. So I'm gonna go in with this concealer. I got 18 Warm Light or 18WL. 
Are you guys even able to see me? My little elf's washed out now. Also yesterday, I will try to remember to insert it here. There was some fallout from the eyeshadow. I got all over my face. Really? That's why I can't get anything done, you guys. Let's get into the eyeshadow palette. Okay. <laughs> they ran off with these earrings the other day and I couldn't find them and then this morning when I opened my door they were laying on the floor right outside my door so they must have brought them back and felt bad about themselves or something <sighs> okay let's get into this palette that is not inspiring for me Ugh. and I've tried almost all the colors now um, I'm gonna go with Tiger's Eye which is this one here sorry okay so there's that oh, my knee popped it felt good what will complement that I'm gonna go in with garnet which is this one here it's like a really nice burgundy color and it's super buildable all of the shadows in here are super buildable. I will say that. I just don't feel like I can create, well, obviously I'm creating complete looks that look just fine, but I would prefer some more like color coordinating. See, I could stop there. It's, it's not awful. It's perfectly fine for a daytime look for me. I'm gonna go in with pink sapphire though and just add a little more like right here like just above like right on the orbital bone not above it right on it and just in that outer area yeah I like that so that worked out it's it's a fine palette you guys there's gorgeous colors in here definitely workable I would just probably use another palette with it just to kind of give yourself those transition shades or those base shades that aren't in here but the shimmers are beautiful and it's it's lovely and it's not like I don't have enough gosh darn eyeshadow palettes to accompany that eyeshadow palette Okay, as far as this eyeliner, for me, it's too thin. I don't like it that thin. I want kind of more girth to my the tip of my eyeliner pen. But if you're looking for a very precise one, this one's your girl. This is the Black Crystal Mascara. I'm actually a big fan. I really like how this looks. And how it stays during the day it's not super messy yesterday I went to therapy with it on and I cried and it didn't run down my face it didn't smudge on my face I'm not sure if I want to put eyeliner underneath today or not I think I'll leave it since it wouldn't wouldn't be from this brand anyway I'm gonna go into bronzer. It's a uh, desert. Is the bronzer? Because this foundation's a little light for me, I'm gonna kind of go everywhere with the bronzer to kind of darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna go in the powder. The powder's called Sunset. A very subtle blush I kind of like a little more color for myself and then today I think we're gonna use glimmer which is one of the two highlights in here I 
I just, this is not my favorite. This is not something that I'm going to grab for. Um, it's, it's just not. I, I just don't. It, it, I don't like it. So that's probably going to go back. I think I'm going to send the, or take back the foundation too. It just didn't work for me. I did like the concealer. I like it on its own. I think it's got decent coverage. I love this powder. Love it. Um, I have the box for the lip, but I don't have the lip with me because it's in my purse already. But definitely keeping that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to keep the eyeshadow palette because I can use it. Uh, mascara is good. The liner's fine. Like I said, if you want a thin line, it's perfect for that. Um, but yeah, there's the look. It's, it's not bad. I just, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll wear the foundation again today and kind of test it out, but I don't like how it went on. It doesn't, it doesn't look terrible though. I'll give it that. It's not as bad as Oh man, you guys, I'm going to keep comparing things to Too Faced because I had the worst experience and you guys will eventually see that, but I have a different foundation, a different concealer, and a different powder on the way from them because the Born This Way just did not work for me. But Pacifica was really good, and again, this is a 100% vegan company, 100% cruelty free. Um, yeah, the only thing that I'm not like only two things I'm not like okay cool about is the foundation and this face palette it just it didn't work for me so anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I love you guys and I will see you in the next one bye